Welcome to a new series of anime we're going to start reacting to. It's called The Misfit of Demon King Academy. It aired, I think, previous season. I didn't have time to watch it. It slipped my mind, but I hear that season two is coming in, I think, January. So in like two months, I got to prep for season two. I heard that it's pretty hype. I'm just going to go in blind. I have no idea what to expect. Let's begin the episode. Two thousand years ago, the mystical age. Oh. One man burned down the entire world, killed the gods, the demon king. Very OP person, okay. Evil person, huh? But is he really evil? Or are we getting baited? Misha, one of the first characters we see. Let's go, Misha! Dad, you're embarrassing me! Oh. Damn. These pieces of shit just knocked into us. But already you can kind of see the royals look down on the normies. Like, is this a main character? Kind of looks like the demon king in the beginning, right? Just by his hair and like facial structure. Thanks. Thanks, dad. Such cheerful parents. So supportive. You know, in moments like this, don't cringe. Fully appreciate your parents for doing that. Because when they're not around, you're going to regret it. Nah, kids like him, ignore this guy. Ignore, ignore shits like him, man. He probably has shitty parents that never like loved him. That's why they're not here to support him. But ignore. <laughs> uh, who? My bad, I didn't hear you. So we're already shit talking. Let's fight already, okay? Oh, the flame of darkness. Alright, what do we have? We can back up the shit talk, right? This guy has to be special. Look at him. He just exudes main character energy. Did he just... Uh, and blow out the flame? With a single saw, he blew out the flame of darkness. Of the light <laughs> Oh. This is kind of like the spell from uh, Overlord. Demiurge would say something he would obey. Damn. So he's stuck there? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and an illusion. Like manga kyo sharingan kind of thing? He's back. Man, you got a pretty pompous face too. But how do you think you're going to beat him right now? When you saw what happened in the entrance. Clown. Oh, it's not. Why? The armor? Oh, okay. You're getting carried by items now. We have nothing. Hand in pocket, barehanded. Another sigh and it blows out his weapon again. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we did. Huh? <gasps> Without batting an eye. Okay, let's see. I mean, we did just completely shut him down by just saying words and just breathing on him. How? When? Internal pressure. His heartbeat is exuding so much sound wave. The pressure from his heart is enough to kill. I haven't seen this kind of exaggerated show of strength. His heartbeat was enough to destroy him from inside. I mean, I should have realized something when he sighed and took out his flames. <laughs> So this is already the demon king that's been re resurrected, re reincarnated in this body then. There's no way, right? Even if you die, you'll never give up. I don't think you can give up if you die. And you... <laughs> this guy's physical strength, just like physical feats are insane. What is he summoning? Did he just revive him? Did we just kill him and revive him? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Or <laughs> usually these kind of shows where either the underdog and the hype builds up like that. He's dead already. And then resurrect again. But we're already at the peak power. There is no underdog. We're the top dog. Three second rule. It's almost like he dropped his food and he's fucking picking it up. <laughs> Three second rule to resurrect. <laughs> I, it was funny to me. And back three seconds. Okay, what's the philosophy? Everybody is fucking terrified. Who's the bad guy here now? 
You're talking about yourself. He was a tyrant. That's what they said during the mythical age 2,000 years ago. The Demon King was a tyrant like no other. That's you. No one's listening to the plot. I give up. I give up. You said you wouldn't give up though, no matter if, even if you died. But you died multiple times. Okay. We're like gonna be question, question mark percent. There's no number that can assess us. Misha, what are you? Holy shit! That's... But then, of course, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be like not a number. It's gonna be like infinite. It's gonna break. It's gonna fucking break. Look. It did break, but it's zero. Because it can't assess us. See, Misha understands most people will be like zero. What a weakling, but not in this show. Hey, Misha. Waiting for you because you're so interesting. <laughs> you're clearly the Demon King. <laughs> you took that literally. <laughs> she's a. She, she's a little bit robotic, huh? <laughs> Very. Oh, no, we did see the parents already. We did see the parents already in the bridge. They were cheering for him. There were the, th there were the three people that were cheering for Misha and uh, Anos in the beginning. The mom. Wait, what? One month after being born, how can your baby boy be this big? Mom, are you dumb? Mom? Mom, it's been one month since he was born. I guess this is the perfect kind of parents to have if you're gonna be under the guise of the Demon King so they will never even realize what's going on. If you're dumb enough to think like it's possible for a one month old baby to be like that. Whoa, 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 huh? Someone, it's probably the the royals. They already, a stadium is built around us, sure. I mean, with Anos, it doesn't matter. All right, let's fight. You asked, this is the guy that was pissed off that he won. Demon Lord, you're a demon lord. Oh, that's his big bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't say, my father will hear about this. But big bro, what's up? True. True. The Hindu family. It's not really fair. Big bro. Uh, no love for little bro. The founder is in front of you. I was talking about myself. So, he's not hiding it. He's declaring that he is a demon lord in very- He's just dropping little hints in there, but everybody's like, You're crazy, what are you talking about? Who would believe him? He's not a mongrel, though. Oh, but he seems like a mongrel born because he's not a royal. Oh, this is gonna be great. I can already see all season. Everybody's gonna keep on looking down on him because he's not a royal and then we're just gonna shit on them every time. My man, you are the one that's out of league! But let's see. Let's see. Pretty cool attack, but I saw a body go flying. Who was it? Hmm? Anything happen? No, nothing. Borrowed magic. Hmm. Trying to understand more about this world. Origin magic can't affect the origin itself. Anos is the origin. Because all the magic is borrowed from Anos. Nobody can do anything to him. He is the founder. You're borrowing power from him from a long time ago. He like we should listen to him. He's somehow turned his revenge into sibling counsel. <laughs> Come on, it's, there's enough time for you guys to make up. So up between all this, there's like a little layer of family, like a theme of family. <laughs> This is an interesting lecturing going on. Zippus! Zippus! Wow, the family counseling worked. I kind of want Zippus to be back. Aww, okay, they're back. Okay, I didn't want them to die, to be honest. This is... He's so mature. Anos is... He's the founder. Anos is so mature. He's just settling things in a, such a graceful way. My beloved descendants, guys. Have you? So he's revealing it again, but will they listen? He's not trying to hide it. One month old baby, by the way. Post-credit scene. 
The oh, we got a new outfit. Hello, Demon King Academy. We've joined. First impressions are everything. Uh, 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 yes, sir. We don't have any polygons. Oh wait, wait. This has never been seen before, Demon King Academy. But we got zero because we broke a thing, right? So do they think we're OP or do they think that we're weak as fuck? And that's the end of the first episode of the Misfit of the Demon Academy. I, I guess that's where the term Misfit comes from because his symbol is just a cross. The more polygons you have, the higher you score. But we got technically score zero because it couldn't assess us and we broke the machine. He's the founder. It's a symbol for the founder, but no one has ever seen it before, of course. But he keeps saying, I am the founder. Is anyone listening? We didn't get the reaction from Zeppis and his older brother. Are they believing him? Or is this going to be a continuous like running gag of, I am the founder. He shows off his openness and everybody, nobody just believes him. Because that's ridiculous. What do you mean? We're here so that when the founder reincarnates, you know, they can be... I forgot the plot, actually. Do they offer their bodies to the founder? But no one's going to believe him, I guess. And that's where the underdog story kind of comes from. I don't know. But the first episode... What a first episode. This is kind of ridiculous. This is ridi this, this main character is... This is stupidly overpowered. Just stupidly overpowered, but gracious. You saw how he handled the family feud. I didn't expect that. I thought that he would shit on them and just... Goodbye. And just done. No. He... Resurrected both brothers again and made sure that their family feud was solved. He keeps talking about bonds. I guess we're gonna see that more in the future episodes. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and plays to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push up my sponsor channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.